Today we're at Orfila Vineyards, where behind me you'll see this beautiful uh, vineyard that's planted. It's about a 40 acre vineyard. Back in the early 1700s, monks would work with Native Americans to make wine for Catholic masses and other services. Today, what's behind me is the vineyard that supports Orfila Winery in Escondido. And it's a 40 acre vineyard planted on a 70 acre property. They have all different kinds of grapes and wines that they produce that are amazing. But what we're going to talk about today is how we get from the grapes and the vines behind me to an actual finished product in a bottle of wine. We're going to, we're going to actually learn what a cellar rat is and what a cellar rat does. So let's head into the winery, check out the cellar, and talk to the winemaker. All right, so we're actually here now in the wine cellar where we're going to learn what a cellar rat is and what a cellar rat does. I'm here with winemaker Don Ria, the winemaker here at Orfila, who's been here for approximately a year. Now, Don, they're called cellar rats. Get, let me know if I'm wrong. Um, You're right. <laughs> because it's so dark and damp in here, they picked up the name of a rat. So this is where you normally find a rat, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, cellar rats are, that's the common name for a cellar worker in the wine industry. Okay, cool. Now, cellar workers have a really, really important job. And Don's going to tell us kind of what a cellar rat does. Well, a cellar rat is basically responsible for all the wine production work in the cellar. Uh, that means moving uh, the grapes into the tanks for fermentation, pumping the wine out via pump, um, filling barrels, emptying barrels, cleaning barrels, cleaning tanks, keeping the sanitation up, uh, doing additions in the cellar, basically everything. I mean, they're kind of the wine makers, you know, per <laughs> se, um, but they're the cellar rats. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, very cool. Uh, we're going to learn a technique today called racking. Yeah. And this is a job that a cellar rat would do. Uh, how often would your cellar rat be racking in, in the cellar? Uh, you know, most wines get racked uh, between four and six times throughout the duration of the couple of years that they're produced. So uh, racking is a, a, probably the most standard thing that happens in the cellar. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. So, what's the first? What's the first process? We've got some gears and gadgets down here. What's What's going yep. on? Well, what we do is we actually will hook up a pump to a tank. And see, racking is taking the clean wine off of anything that's settled at the bottom. What we call leaves or the sediment layer at the bottom, which is usually dead yeast cells, little solids, pieces of grape skin, or something like that. So it's almost like a compacted mud at the bottom of the tank. Okay. Cool. So well, well, let me stop you right there. We have a cool new wine word, leaves. Which Leech. is like the sludge right. that's left over at the bottom of the tank, that's right? It. Exactly. All right, cool. So the good wine's up here, the lees is down here. Yep. And we gotta get the lees out. We gotta get well, we gotta get the clean wine off first. Oh, that's, that's the right. Process. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah. So how's that? So then this pump is inserted to where the wine is? That's what happens is you get this the nice layer of separation, which is probably around here, so it's below this is called a racking valve. And so what we do is hook up the pump to this valve to pump all the nice clean wine off of that layer of solids. Okay. That'll pump it to a different tank. Uh, through a nice uh, pump over you see over there All right. and then once we get down we go through the other valve and we kind of it's almost like uh, manually somebody's in there with a suction hose just sucking all the rest of that nice clean wine off the top of the leaves because it's a very um, clear and defined uh, layer okay so once that happens then we've got all the clean wine into another tank and then the leaves will take and we'll consolidate that into another tank a lease tank which will typically be filtered later on after we've collected all the leaves because even though it's leaves and solids after you let that settle and filter it, it's about 65% good wine. All right, cool. And then once we're done, we just get almost like a powder um, that's remaining out, out from the leaves. So all right, so it's yeah, kind of like it's cool. kind of like a chimney sweep slash suction hose thing that happens yeah, in the exactly. leaves. Exactly. All right, well, very cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. That was Absolutely. really really interesting. We learned some cool new wine words and some of what a cellar rat does. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot, John. All right, Megan. Cheers.